Hello everyone and welcome back to part 11 on how to create a Among Us type game on Roblox. Before I start, I just want to say I'm doing a 1000 Roblox giveaway when I reach 1000 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe, I will choose a random winner and give him 1000 Roblox. Okay, so let's start. Enter our script that's inside of the button, that's inside of the uh, emergency mission thing. Enter it and uh, right after the... Uh, Wait, game dot replicate the storage dot uh, emergency time. In here, we will uh, write game dot replicate the storage. Uh, game dot replicate the storage dot uh, dot emergency con fire all clients. Fire all clients. Live or just uh, let it like that. We will just fire all clients and let's put a player argument here and enter our disable chat script to check if everything is going to work uh, just fine. Okay, so we have uh, this thing, just delete the this line here and remove the uh, remove this uh, two lines. The character variable and the uh, C-frame thing. And now play the game, and you should see that when the emergency meeting starts, uh, we should. Be oh, I forgot. To, sorry for that. I forgot to change the, this to one, so we don't have to. Uh, eat to uh, to test it with two players. <coughs> Let's see if that works. I'm gonna be using shift lock. Alright, so let's turn shift lock off. And also, we will be fixing this bug. As you can see, we still see a bit of text right here. So, we will be fixing that, don't worry. So, emergency meeting and it disappears. And now we can chat. We can say <laughs> yellow kind. Oh, now we can chat anymore. That's because we uh, forgot to uh, enter our disabled chat script. And change this weight to uh, no, not this way too. Uh, we forgot to change this weight emergency time. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh we actually wait emergency time. So uh, I forgot to change emergency time to f something longer. So uh, that's it. So I think okay. So now enter our uh, our pads model. Voting pads and uh, go down to here. Select um, this uh, template pad, control R to rotate, put it like that. So we won't be using any functions for cloning, uh, cloning this. We will do it man manually because I found some bugs with it while trying to make some stuff in future episodes. So just rename the template pad to n slash a for non available. And also in the last episode, I, I told you guys that I will uh, sh that I will show you how I made this uh, non slash uh, a non available thing uh, display the player's name. So all you gotta do is to really just uh, enter this script. Uh, um, wait, let me show you. Uh, enter our surface GY, uh, our player name, player name uh, text label, and add the script to it. A normal script, not a local script, a normal script. And put a while loop, while to do, uh, no, not that, while to do, put a wait, let's wait 0 0.1 sec, 0 0.1 seconds, and we will set the script dot parent dot text is equal to script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot uh, name. Uh, let's just see if uh, that's, uh, that's not a uh, if this is going to work, so script dot parent dot parent dot parent so three parents. This should work. And now all you gotta do is just uh, enter our script and delete everything that's in it, and create a variable for uh, all of the players in the game. So we will just create an empty table. So local players is equal to an empty table, and we will put a while loop here. So while, uh, no, not here, while to do, 
put a wait let's wait point uh, one second each time we loop and we will um, loop through for i comma v in pairs game dot players can get player get no, get children i mean get children could work but just use get players it's a much better life bit much better i think and we will check if uh, v then and remember v is the player is the index so if v then uh, we will uh, try to uh, let me think about this yeah uh, we create a variable for the player's character so if uh, local character local character is equal to v dot character or v dot v dot character added con wait this should be it for the variable so now we'll check if character then if the, if the player's character is still there then we will insert them to the table no not now we'll check if uh, we create no let's just check if uh, character can find find first first child in game then so we'll check if they have that in-game value that we inserted to them to their character earlier earlier <laughs> sorry for that uh, earlier uh, we will insert them to table so table dot insert players comma players comma v and then we would put uh, an else so if they don't have that in-game in tag and we find them in the table so if table dot find players come out v so if we find them in the table then we'll re remove them from the table then table dot remove players comma i and this should be it just copy this line of code and uh, we will go down here and put an else and uh, paste this in and here we will check if they are not there then we will remove them from the table again if they left the game or something and now uh, go down here just uh, uh, right, uh, right uh, before the uh, last end and we will create another for loop so for i comma v in pairs script dot parent column get children do if v then I don't really think we have to check uh, if we then, but just do it, just for safety. Okay, so if we then, we will check if v column is a part, so we don't want to look through the script, we'll just see if it's a part then. So if it if it is a part, uh, we'll check, uh, uh, actually, we'll loop through the players, so actually no let me just think about this give me some time we'll just have to we'll look through this we will check uh, yeah for i for y comma x in pairs players do if x then if x dot character can find first child in game so if we found that in game value then we'll check if there is no uh, uh, no pad for the player so if not script.parent can find first child v uh, x dot name then so if there is uh, uh, if we don't have a pad for the player, then we will uh, just uh, set script dot parent uh, v. We are talking about the pad. The v dot name is equal to x dot name. So x is a player and v is the actual pad. So this should be it, I think. Yeah, it might be it. Let's let me just uh, read this again. So we we'll loop through the pads and we check if v then if v con is a part then we we'll loop through the players and uh, if x then we 
we check if the players is still there and we check if they have that in-game value then we will check if there is no uh, pad for them we will set v.name to x.name so this should be working that's a lot of checking but uh, it should work you can't make something without if statements let's see if we have if the pad name is uh, set to that thing so let's see if it works please work yeah it worked great okay so what we're gonna do now is uh, let's say your game has uh, an eight players limit uh, on the servers then we will have to create eight pads so no not uh, don't duplicate the voting pads just duplicate the the non-available pad so control d to duplicate and let me just set the model to and this to let's t uh, set it to uh, five or something and move it to here and control d so my game has uh, eight players max limit so if you want to change that uh, i'll show you how to do it in the at the end of the video so now just duplicate it to uh, uh, my game will have eight uh, players limit so one two three four five uh, six, seven, eight, and this should be it. So we will have a pad for each player. Now enter our script right here, and in here we will check if script dot parent can find first child v dot name dot name then okay so okay so uh if we if we find the uh, v dot name then we will uh, set the name of it to script dot parent con find trust child v dot name dot name is equal to non available so n slash a and now copy this if statement right here and paste it here here and this should be our script done so let's see if it renames the uh, pad to non-available if we reset our character that should be working not sure though let's see if we have any errors open up the output and uh, we have a pad and if i go ahead and reset my character it should oh it worked great how cool is that so it removed me from the table and it removed me from the pad so the pad is now named non-available so as you can and now it's named polaris prog so when the player dies remove them from the table and <coughs> sorry for that and uh, the pad name turns to non-available great okay so now we will uh, Create a uh, typewriting effect. So just enter our uh, disable chat script, and in here, let's firstly create a function. So function type. Uh, let's create a local function. So local function, uh, local function, local function type type with a capital T type. Uh, label comma text and here we will put a for loop so for i comma for i is equal to from one ha to hashtag text hashtag text do the that label dot text uh, is equal to text uh, string to string dot sub from one to hashtag to from zero to one comma i oh sorry uh, here we just put the text comma one comma i and here put a weight point point uh let's put a point Point zero two, I think. Yeah, this this will be good. 
and this should be it so here we will create a variable for a text label that we will create right now so uh, insert a text label to the main script so insert a text label to the main uh, not main script main uh, uh, what do you uh, screen gy main screen gy and rename it to status label let's go to plugins unit scale conversion scale and i will leave link to this plugin in the description so make sure to download it and each we should be good to go so let's scale it like that and set text scale to true and this is going to say uh, player.name uh, was ejected okay so make it visible set to false so visible uh firstly let's make the background transparency to one and the text color text color to white and the uh, font to uh, let's look for a cool font the roblox added a ton of fonts recently uh, which is really nice to see but uh, let's uh, it's harder to look for uh, fonts now okay so but uh, that's not a problem though we'll just set the uh, text stroke transparency to zero and this should be it and make uh, the status label to uh, visible property to false and uh, it should be good to go enter our disable chat script and we will create a variable for the text label so local text label is equal to let's call it uh, just uh, okay let's name it to status label is equal to script dot parent dot main common with child status label and you should be good to go now and let's uh, right here put a um, we'll call the function so type type label label uh, no uh, text actually we have to put a status label comma and uh, we will uh, sort of that we will write uh, game dot replicate storage uh, i think this is how we do it so we set the winner value to the player's name again dot replicate so dot winner dot uh value dot dot was ejected and before we do this go down here and drop line and we will set the visible property of the status label so status label dot visible visible is equal to true and here we will set status label dot visible is equal to false and we should be good to go let's see if that works i hope it does let's call a emergency meeting class and go ahead and vote for ourselves since we are the only players in the game and don't worry in the next part we'll check if uh, okay so it's working polaris progress ejected and it makes the text label invisible so this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure, make sure to subscribe uh, like the video share it with your friends and i will see you in the next one bye